<laughs> hey Survivor fans, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my Survivor Puzzle app. The link is in the video's description. It's a big obligation to be on the jury. It's, it's an honor, and I think it's a duty to be on the jury. For me, especially because I have sat on the other side. I've been in the final two, and a jury of my peers has awarded me the title of Soul Survivor and the Million Dollar Prize. And I know that it's an important um, role to take on to evaluate someone's gameplay over the course of this game and to say, all right, you know, let's dig in a little bit and let's see if you can stand behind the game that you played and really own it and take us on this journey and tell us why you deserve to win. For me, I'm taking my responsibility as a juror very seriously and I haven't made up my mind as to who I think would be uh, the, the right person to take it all. So I think like for this game in particular, it's a group of winners. We can all respect um, what it's like to have played a game well enough to have been awarded by the jury the win. And now to be sitting on the other side feels like a karmic or civil duty to be paying that forward, that I was awarded the win by the jury and now I'm gonna be returning that in kind for someone else. Well, when it comes to Natalie, I adore her. I've had an opportunity to play with her on the edge for a significant amount of time and I really love her assertiveness, her tenaciousness, her ability to be totally resilient in the face of crushing defeat and I appreciate that about her. One thing that gives me pause with Natalie is she played so poorly in the first day of this game that she was an easy person to vote off first. It was between her and Michelle and the reason why Natalie was the one who was voted off first was because she played so poorly. She was overly confident. She didn't think it could be her. She was throwing names around carelessly. She threw my name around. And I was like, easy, I could vote Natalie off. I have no problem doing that. So she was the first person voted off. She's never survived a vote in the game of Survivor without an idol. So what I'm curious to hear from Natalie is, like, why does she deserve to win the game of Survivor? We're not playing the edge. This isn't the edge. This is Survivor. So why does she deserve to win Survivor if she couldn't even survive one vote. That's a, t that's a tough case to plead. And like, I don't know, for me, like I've had a, like when I play, I've had a target on my back the whole time typically, and I can make it all the way to the end and I know how hard that is. So I look at someone like Tony, who's been playing a very, Tony has been a target from day one, I'm sure. Tony came in here with a target on his back. How was Tony able to navigate from day one all the way to the end of this game without getting a single vote for him? And how was he able to blindside people, vote them off without them being bitter or resentful or feeling hurt? I've talked to so many of these jury members here and I'm like, you guys got burned by Tony. You got blindsided by him. Do you resent him? Are you hurt by him? Everyone has said no. I think that's incredible. I've never been able to pull that off. That's an incredible feat to accomplish in this game. So I'm curious to hear Tony talk about how he was able to do that. Michelle, it's gonna be a hard task for Michelle to get my vote. It is. I played with her in Soleil, and I thought that Michelle and I could be each other's ride or die. And once I, like, once we got to the point where I was voted out, I know that Michelle had a hand in it, but I thought that it was short-sighted on her part that she didn't I didn't see I didn't see Michelle leading very many votes leading very many strategic conversations she was always following from what I saw so when it comes to Michelle it's gonna have to be in order for Michelle to get my vote she's gonna have to prove to me that she had some kind of strategy that she was leading with and that she got people to work with her uh, in a way that was compelling because I just haven't seen that from her. So I think it's really, I think at this time, at this point, it's a horse race between Tony and Natalie.